what is up guys this is the FNH news re reviews and tutorials here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Python keylogger in less than five minutes okay so without wasting any time let's get straight into it all right so basically this is I'm just going to show you an example of what the keylogger is and um, what you can do with it what it'll do I mean obviously it'll be pretty simple since we are making it in less than five minutes but um, it will do it will get the job done okay so let me just run this here right and you can see it says over here started file and just to make uh, make sure you guys can see um, I'll n put something here this is a test period and you can see I press backspace over there um, I'll show you if that gets recorded or not okay test um, let's do enter okay let's see what else should I type um, are you recording this okay alright so now let's close um, well I'll just leave that stop uh, let's stop the program right and you can see over here um, I have it in the file I believe right here log.txt and you can see here key shift right this th and then um, it's a backspace um, is a test key and then I press backspace again and then are you recording this and obviously I have this shift over here right key shift and then key backspace um, and you can put a space between uh, what is the backspace and is so it'll be like that right um, I'll show you guys the setup and then obviously you guys can change it the way you want okay so basically this is a simple um, log file okay so let me close this uh, don't save all right let's leave that there okay and let's open a new file okay um, YouTube key logger okay uh, let me just rename that to dot py so um, just a little background on this I am using Python 3.0 okay um, if you're using 2.0 this may not work um, so I suggest you use 3.0 all right um, so that's one thing the other thing I'm using Visual Studio Code you guys can use whatever editor you like right or IDE uh, that really does not matter okay so all right first thing we want to do is get um, a library called pi input right so it will be from p p y n p u t and we only want the keyboard um, and we want to import the listener okay so um, if you don't have pi input installed in your computer you can go to the terminal and then just use pip p i p to install um, uh, pi input and if you don't know how to install you can just google it and find out it's really simple okay so that and let's do let's print out our message first right to show that we have started started to log all right and now um, we're gonna write a function define um, let's say log okay and we want to pass in the key okay we're gonna pass in the key <coughs> alright and alright so once we pass in the key right uh, we want to get basically um, what the key is the key is basically what is pressed on the keyboard okay so in this case the character that's pressed on the keyboard we want to change it into a um, a, str a string right and we want to replace um, any quotes that it has okay like single quotes because that will mess up our algorithm okay all right so next um, we want to do path to the log file right here and now we're going to use with um, okay uh, open and then over here you can see um, well you would use width so that's for um, obviously so for memory reasons the width will automatically close it you want to have to manually close um, what do you call it the width um, statement okay so now uh, you can put any path you want so I will choose this path that I have and um, and 
basically I'll name the file into log2.txt okay all right so we have that there and and mode for mode we just want to put a for now okay and we'll do as um, f for file okay and then file dot write okay and we want to put the character that we got and we want to write to that all right so we have that and now since now we have this and now all we have to do is basically have a listener right so basically a listener to every time we do a key press we want it to somehow listen to that all right so that is why we got the pi input keyboard listener right um uh, we imported that so for that that's pretty simple to use with listener right and then on oops underscore on press equals and then we want the function log and then l for listener as l and then l dot join so basically when it logs it uh when when it when it basically listens to an event a key press event right on press right here and then uh we just log it okay so and then do l dot join that basically calls it right and over here you can see we do the character uh, so uh, this is basically it that's all you need to do okay and you can see that it works perfectly fine right uh, this is as simple as you can get and it will work just as good okay so I ran it you can see all right started to log okay let's get this file so that's from the old one all right and now let's do this one two three four a b c d okay and I put a space okay let's stop that and let's look here we have log 2 now uh, so you don't have to have the file um, created it automatically creates it and you can see right here one two three four a b c d and then key space okay obviously you don't want to put key space every time you press the space so one trick you can do to make it a lot easier you can just basically do um, a bunch of if statements or um, uh, any other condition right so key dot space okay if it's key dot space we want the ch character to e character to equal uh, basically a space okay and so that's basically the gist of it there's obviously special um, what do you call it there's special cases with um, special character like the um, the alt key the control key shift um, so and, and, and th there's also tab and also the left alt key alt key and control key and shift key is different from the right alt control and shift key right so you got to keep that in mind right um, you can write if statements for all of them and so let's just look at this I put the if characters key space uh, we want to replace that with a empty string empty character okay so we have that there and let's go to this file okay so let's do that again one two three four space a b c d all right so now we shouldn't see let's close that we shouldn't see um key dot space we should basically see an actual space right here i should have cleared the file first but you can see one two three four space a b c d it doesn't say key dot space so it, that's how you can tell it worked it replaced a key dot space with an actual space okay so i have the file here right so i have these keys so key dot space uh, i replace it with the space shift right the left shift key um, i just put nothing for that because basically that's usually if they're putting a character in capitalize or something right that's the only time you would really use shift and want to need to record it right key enter it was just i just put a, like a, a new line character right um key alt left alt right um that's basically nothing and as well as control right um also key tab i put for i just basically put this, this for tab okay so um obviously you can put your own character you can change it up as well as you like uh, maybe if you want the space to be something else you can put it right here it's really 
simple to work with and uh, basically it's 32 lines of code and base and I even if you don't want the I guess these it's 13 lines of code It's probably the simplest key logger you can make uh, and, and really quickly okay um, so if you guys have any questions leave it down below any comments let me know if you like this video make sure to like it gives it a thumbs up um, don't forget to subscribe and also um, this is highly um, changeable so obviously if you want to make it a bit more advanced you would add it to um, connect to a database and then um, you would log it to the database right um, but that's just I guess um, more advanced right um, if you would like that obviously that would be the next step which would make sense right um, but yeah and I mean not even that is also another approach where you just save it to the file and then at a certain time of day it would automatically email you the file right so you don't even need a database right um, so that's pretty simple also but yeah um, there's just a bunch of ways different things you can do um, so if you guys need any help with that just you know leave it in the below in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time